So, what I wanted to discuss today was the topic of time management. And I was wondering what you guys had to say about this, about what your style and approach is with this subject. Because um, I was just, I was reminded about this earlier because, okay, so um, I'm on my way somewhere. I'm going to make it there on time. But what happened was I um, told myself, I was like, all right, it's time to get moving, time to, time to head out of the hotel. Um, and um, I went and I grabbed something to drink from the, from the front desk. And then it turned out that I had forgotten something in the room, so I had to go head back to the room, and then my keys didn't work on the side door. So I had to go to the front desk, and he was busy with someone, which took a few minutes. Um, and then, so that ended up, so then by the time I got my new keys, my keys reactivated, and I grabbed what I needed from the room, and I got out to the car, I, you know, I was like, okay, so I'm gonna make it with about 10 minutes to go, and that just reminded me how it's so important to give yourself a cushion, some breathing room. So for me, this is something I struggle with, but I really have to get better at, like, really disciplining myself with it and making sure I give myself this. For me, it's, I give myself a half, so, the amount of, of course, the amount of time that I know that it's going to take to get there, and then I add a half hour to that. So that if anything comes up, you know, got to get gas, there's a traffic jam or something, it's actually a half hour probably really isn't good enough. 45 minutes or more is, like, is really, like, guaranteed. I mean, unless there's a really bad traffic jam. So, yeah. Half hour works for me, um, but yeah, that way, if anything comes up, you know, it just, the worst that'll happen is that you get there right on time. But just, it's like, yeah, when you leave, if you gotta be somewhere in a half hour and you leave a half hour before you gotta be there, like, if it's a half hour away, say that you gotta be somewhere at 3.30, and you leave at three o'clock and you're a half hour away, you have no room for error. You know, you can't stop for gas. Nothing can go wrong. You have to, you know, there, there can't be any traffic that holds you up. So you'll just make it on time if things go perfectly. And that's, that's not good to leave yourself no room for error. So that's what I do. I try to give myself at least a half hour. I still struggle with disciplining myself with that and making sure that I carry that out. But what do you guys do? What are your, what's your strategy? Um, what kind of breathing room do you like to give yourself? Just let me know in the, in the, uh, comment box in the uh, comments um because um yeah i know a lot of people still struggle with time management even, even like later you know well into their adult years that's just something yeah something i've had a problem with for a long time and i really i'm just glad i'm glad i gave myself plenty of time today because um, i'll still get there early which is good because um i hate pulling in just in time especially if it's a environment that i haven't ever been to before or you know if, if i'm going like if it's like job interview or just um, you know, a place with people that I haven't met yet, people that I don't know, like something, like if I'm meeting up with a group, like a first time thing or something, it's like, I hate just strolling in there because it's just that, that just, it's such an anxiety, uh, it reduces my anxiety big time to give myself that breathing room. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Click like, comment, um, you know, how, how do you guys do with time management? What are your, um, any tips, you know, just like to hear from you guys about it. All right. Um, I'll see you guys soon.